Hey guys, it's Mianch here. In this video, we have another huge unboxing from the cubicle.us. So in this package, I believe we have like seven puzzles and we also have some accessories. So um, yeah, I'm really excited. So let's just jump right into it. Alright, so I haven't been this, this excited in a while. Here's some packaging. Here we have some stickers. We have some lube here. And now let's get into the, uh, into the puzzles. So this is the first puzzle. Uh, it's the Moyu Ahun Megaminx. This is the Galaxy Megaminx uh, version 2 in Sculpted. Here we have a Cubicle Labs 3x3. This is another Cubicle Labs 3x3. Uh, this is the Wuxia M in Stickerless. This is the uh, GAN 249V2. Here we have a non-WCA puzzle. I forgot uh, the name of this, but yeah, I'll put it on the I'll put it up on the screen right now. We also have some replacement parts. Uh, this is the Lubicle Speedy, and of course the business card. Let's start with this non-WSA puzzle. There we go, and it's also inside this really cool uh, transparent box. I just have to figure out how to open this thing. Okay, so I just have to open this, I guess. Or just take it off. Okay. So, uh, here we have this thing open. And this is a really cool box. And this is like a stand and stuff. Yeah. So, There we go. This is actually quite small. I thought it would be a bit uh, big. Yeah, it's really cool. It's uh, stickerless. I really like the shades. And yeah, I think these things turn. Yeah, like that. And we also have this layer turning. We just have to align all of all of these things, and then this will turn. Oh. That is really loud. It has the fancy type of feeling, the sandy feeling. But I'm sure that will uh, go away with some solving and breaking in. But that's really smooth and fast. Yeah, I really like it. I think I know how to solve this thing, but I'm not completely sure. So yeah, uh, this is overall a really nice cube. Uh, let's move on to the Wuxia M2x2 Here we have So my current main is the cubicle Shingen M Right here um, This I have been using like uh, for a long time and I've been liking it a lot but uh, the magnets on this are just too strong for me um, I mean I'm used to these magnets now but it's I feel uh, sometimes I feel it's uh, just really strong so yeah I just uh, got this thing I have tried this thing before but yeah Yeah, it's really good. It's already better than this thing. I mean, this is also a very, very nice cube, but it's just you know, you just have to apply a lot of force to turn it uh, just uh, because of the magnets. And this I can turn like uh, very, very freely. Yeah, the turning is uh, very very light and again it has the fancy kind of feeling the sandy feeling which you get but again that will go away pretty soon all right here we have another 2x2 this is the GAN 249 
uh, V2. That's the tensioning tool. Alright, this packaging is really weird. Um, okay, so I guess it opens that way. Yeah, we have the pamphlet and we have the tensioning tool. And this is the cube. Alright, so yeah, this has the uh, matte finish to it, the frosted plastic. So yeah, this also has uh, primary internals and I guess it also has the honeycomb design. I don't know, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can see it right there. Uh, but yeah, let's move on to first turns. So, yeah, that's why I don't like the frosted plastic. It slips out of your hand uh, really easily. Yeah, this is really very slippery it may be because of the loop but I don't know yeah the turning is really really good it has a it has like a really slight bumpiness to it because of the magnets and it's just a bit slow I think I'll, I should add some uh, DNM to it Yeah, but this is a pretty decent cube. Uh, if the pl frosted plastic was not there, then this would be this would have been a really really nice cube. But yeah, let's move on to this one. Uh, this is the Avon Megaminx. This is the first Megaminx by uh, Moyu. Okay, so again we have the magnetic box, pretty cool, yeah, I got this on stickerless as well. The cards and then we also have the pamphlet. Looks like a cap came out from this but uh, no issues, I will fix that. Alright, so yeah, I mean just holding it, it looks really tight. The shades are a bit weird, like I'm used to the galaxy uh, shades, the green is very dark. But yeah, let's just do some first turns. Yeah, <laughs> it is really really tight. But, okay no, it's, it's speeding up as I'm turning it. But like I mean the tensions are uh, really tight but... I just have to loosen this thing up. The grip is pretty good on this cube. It has like those ridges uh, which the Diane Megaminx had. And yeah, the centers are uh, really circular. And yeah. Pretty good Megaminx. I mean, it has like a, a smooth feeling to it. Uh, but yeah I don't know it's a weird feeling but yeah I need to loosen this thing up just like a little bit and just break it in so this is the next puzzle uh, this is the galaxy megaminx uh, version 2 I have the version 1 I also have the uh, magnetic version of the uh, version 1 so yeah so this is my current main Megamix, this is the Cubicle Galaxy M and it's a really really good Megamix, I mean I just love it and like whoa, just by holding this, this feels really 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 small and very very light because this is a magnetic one and this is pretty heavy and I just noticed like this edge piece is a bit dark for something, some reason yeah but whatever um, and again the centers are a bit circular and yeah again it's a sculpted one you can see that this mega mix is quite a bit smaller so yeah let's just do some first turns 
Whoa, okay. That is really, really good. The size is not a problem. I mean, I can get uh, get used to this uh, really easily. It's also very, very stable. I mean, if I just put some magnets inside this, this would get like really good. Alright, so next we have uh, two cubicle labs boxes here. Um, I'm sh pretty sure that one of them is a pro shop cube and one of them is a cubicle labs one. So let's, op let's open this one first. Alright, yeah. So I know what this is. So we have a stand, a blue stand, which I don't have, so that's cool. This is the cubicle labs MF3RS2M. Let's keep this aside and focus on this thing. Now this is a bit cheaper compared to other cubicle labs 3x3. I, I, I don't know the exact price, but yeah, it's significantly uh, cheaper. Yeah, and a lot, of, a lot of people have been switching their mains to this thing, so I'm uh, really excited for this. So yeah, let's just do some first turns. Alright, so as expected, this is uh, very very gummy out of the box as all the uh, all of the cubicle labs 3x3s but once I break it and maybe it will it'll get uh, really really good I don't know it has the magnets in it but it still f uh, feels like uh, a bit flimsy for some reason yeah it is starting to speed up yeah pretty good Alright, so this here, I'm also really excited for this one. Oh, we have another transparent stand. I have like 11 or 12 of those. But yeah, this is the Cubicle Pro Shop Wall Power M. And this is again in stickerless. All the cubes that I have in this unboxing are stickerless. So that's cool. I love stickerless. Alright, so this already feels like it's, it's going to be uh, it's going to be gummy, but yeah, let's do first turns. Okay, it's not that gummy. But it still feels a bit gummy and it's also really loopy from outside. Yeah, this is much faster. I have tried the normal wall power amp and I have uh, just I just really liked it okay this is just uh, this is just very looby from outside so I just can't turn it properly but yeah the primary uh, the, the internals are primary shades are really good as always yeah this is really really good I don't know I have to see my current main is the cubicle SM and that is also a very very good cube so I'll have to play around with these uh, 3 by 3s and I'll have to check if one of these could be my main Whoop. yeah see it's really looby so that's it guys for this huge unboxing from the cubicle.us I hope you enjoyed this video if you did so make sure to hit that like button down there and of course subscribe to my channel Thanks for watching guys, bye.